Morning guys. All right, so I haven't really been eating very well the past couple of days. Um, just cause when I'm busy, I find it hard to eat. So decided to kick off this morning with a monster stack of pancakes uh, with some bacon and I'm gonna have a protein shake as well. And then there I've put in between um, hazelnut protein spread from muscle food. I'm gonna have this and then today is second leg day of the week. So I'm uh, starting to collapse. No. Monster step. Taste it. I think I need to shake this up a bit as well. But yeah, I'm gonna eat this and then get ready to go to the gym. Remember to always be true, no matter what you do. I run it, I never front it. I got my whole cool life on it. Man, listen. What is going on guys? All right, so from yesterday, I'm feeling a lot better. Um, I don't know what it was yesterday. I don't know what it was, but yeah, that's that's gone, that's subsided. I do need to shape this up when I get home, but today is leg day again. And as opposed to doing a shitload of hamstring stuff again, I'm gonna be doing a lot and a lot and a lot of squat mobility. Cause I really wanna be hitting at, some, at one point I want to hit legs three times a week so do two hamstring sessions one quad session or one quad session one hamstring session and one overall leg session um, so that's the aim so I need to get my squat back so lots of squat mobility will be done today um, alongside the rest of the workout so yeah got my bulk powders elevate I'm not sponsored by them, but I'll see if I can um, get you guys a discount code because I, I think it's really good and it is quite affordable. So I'll, I'll, I'll speak to the guys and see if I can get a discount code. I'll try. Um, but anyway, I'll see you guys at the gym. Pick it, pick it, pick it. Freestyle voiceover. What is going on, guys? So I'd bring you a voiceover on this bit. Right now, I'm just doing some mobility that I learned from um who, who was this one I can't actually remember it might have been johnny candito but it was basically a tip that was given to open up the hips and to sit into a squat properly keeping a straight back now today i think i did i said it at the end of the um the squat clips 21 squats 21 sets on squats sets of three and that's a lot but practice makes perfect and I wanted to make it perfect so the first few sets you could probably see that there's a little bit of butt wink not much hardly anything but I wanted to be very precise in my form <clears throat> so the things that I corrected and the things that made the massive massive difference in my squat technique were some tips that Johnny Candito gave which is to keep your hips underneath you, underneath the bar. So you could probably see that I'm, I'm, I've been used to sticking my bum out for some reason. My ass is big anyway, but I've been used to sticking my bum out. <laughs> and so the, on a couple of the bits you see kind of like I try to pull my hips underneath me but then it kind of sticks out and then it looks like I'm wobbling but that's basically what I'm doing just trying to make sure that my hips are underneath me bracing my core keeping my upper back tight and letting um, letting the break of the um, going into the squat start from the knees 
So you can see on these ones, knees come, come in first before the hips sit back. And if you see on every single set of these, I'm keeping my arms at shoulder width apart and then kind of retracting my shoulder blades. So not arching my back, retracting my shoulder blades. And so when I come underneath the bar and I have it on my shoulders, and I pull my elbows down so they're pointing towards the floor my upper back is tight I then brace my core and then start the movement from the knees <laughs> made a huge huge difference and for the first time in a long time you know th th I felt a stretch across my knees because obviously there's more travel but I was able to squat at less than um, shoulder width apart so quite a narrow squat because Matt Ogus Matt Ogus his squat I'm so jealous of him I keep watching him squat and I'm like where are his feet why is feet doing that why is feet so close how is he managing to do that his flexibility is so good and it's just frustrating so <laughs> I've been on a mission to get that narrow stance squat and it's, it's coming it's coming because I have to do a bit of foam rolling before I stepped it up to um, 120 kilos. So as you see, I'm not taking the weight too heavy. I'm just gradually building up, gradually building up. I have no rush. I have no rush, I'm taking a year out. I wanna make sure that um, when I do start the heavy squats, everything is perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Like Charlie Sloth. Oh yeah, perfect. So as you see, butt wink. It's pretty much eliminated. Nice movement, a bit of the kind of like wiggle to make sure my hips are underneath me, but I'm so happy with my squat progress right now. Anyway, commentary time is done. Enjoy the rest of the video. What is going on, everybody? Just finished at the gym on my way home. And as you saw from um, the clips, a hell of a lot of squat sets I think by the time I finished I had done 21 sets of three on squats <laughs> ranging not all on you know uh, the 120 kilos but starting from uh, my warm-up sets and then gradually uh, moving the weight up so yeah it was a lot of a lot of volume every every single set I took a minute to analyze my form wanted to make sure that there was no form breakdown wanted to make sure that my knee travel was good and avoid the knee pain so yeah great session awesome session i finished off af afterwards with um some hamstring work i just did some romanian deadlifts with a dumbbell and then some hamstring curls but yeah I'm, I'm really happy with with the session how it went and most importantly there's no damn knee pain. No knee pain. It, the only um, feeling that I get is a stretch. It's just a stretch across the knee from the top. But on the patella tendon itself, no knee pain. No knee pain whatsoever. So I'm really, really happy and I'm glad that I've managed to find a you know, work the mechanics of a squat to work with my body, comp my body mechanics. If that makes any sense. So yeah, really happy. But just got home. Just gonna park up, and I will catch you guys inside when I'm getting something to eat. <laughs> catch you guys in a second. Alright, guys. So whilst we're here watching a movie, here is my post-workout meal now. This is really low fat, high carb, high protein, and it's all thanks to muscle food. Lean steak burgers, and let me show you. Lean beef uh, steak burgers, fat free cheese, um, some oven chips, and just normal burger buns. Yeah. I've been slacking with my food. I think my weight's dropped this week, which isn't ideal. So um, yeah, trying to keep the calories in, trying to stay on top of that. 
Yeah, I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat. Catch you guys in a bit. What's up, guys? Keeping busy, keeping busy. <laughs> I just finished um, editing a video for Naisha's channel, um, which will be going up in a couple of days. I've just also finished editing a video for this channel and also catching up on a couple other YouTubers. This guy, Jerry Ward, he cracks me up so, so much. BioS3 training, it's just, <laughs> He's living hilarious. Camera, okay, there doesn't have to be a camera. You can do a Skype phone call, which is free. And here's the interesting thing. The individual was like, well, I don't want to fucking do Skype because all I have is an iPhone 6. Are you fucking kidding me? You have an iPhone 6 and you don't know how to use Skype. Time out. So you can't put enough effort into figuring out how to use Skype on your fucking iPhone. But you're going to put the effort into fucking training and dieting? There's less effort that goes into that. This is neither here nor there. It doesn't matter. So the bottom line is the way that my coaching works is I don't do phone calls. <laughs> cracks me I do all that email. dumb voice that he does is <laughs> I mean in stitches on Sundays. Oh. But yeah, check him out. Check him out. You probably do it already. For biosty training, he's, he's he's good. Just real advice. He's he's been through a lot. He has been through a flipping lot. He's witnessed loads of stuff so when he's talking about advice and stuff it's not always like oh scientific oh this is how you do this oh this is the reason why you do this because this equation says this no he's literally seen it yeah anyway <clears throat> um i've just res been responding to everyone's um comments i'm trying to keep on top of that i like to i seem to let it slip sometimes and sometimes it's really hard to catch up but i like to leave the comments but time is is a factor um so yeah got that done and out of the way now i'm gonna probably get something to eat i definitely need to get another meal in before i go to bed and it is currently 10 05 so yeah I'll grab something to eat i've pretty much done everything just a couple more emails to send and then that's it so yeah i'll see you in a sec show you what i'm eating then i'm gonna chill out for about half an hour let my stress levels reduce dim the lights before i go to bed you know don't want that cortisol ruining my gains uh catch you guys in a sec Alright guys, so everything's done now. Everything's ready to upload. Tomorrow's upload is um, currently processing on YouTube. It is 10.30 in the evening. Having this meal now. So it is roast baby potatoes, peri peri chicken thigh from Muscle Food. And I'm also having Greek style yogurt, so not Greek yogurt, Greek style yogurt with um, a large scoop of peanut butter and a large scoop of Nutella. <sighs> Got to make them gains. I need to fix up on my food big time. Yeah, definitely. I need to just get to eating more. Today's been better. Today's been better, I have to admit. But. It's starting to get hard to eat because it's like I'm not as hungry as like after the show you want to eat everything. Then once you realise that everything is a lot, then you're like, oh, I don't want it. So <laughs> yeah, but got to get this bark on the way. <sighs> yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna eat this and I'm gonna I'm gonna head to bed. I can't even get my words out. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do. Like, comment, share. Hope you like the vlog and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. You, you, you